Good morning and touch their legs through this. Okay, so I'm going to continue the poem Macavity, the mystery cat by T.S. Eloid. Okay, yes. So if you remember, in my previous lesson, we read uh, some part of the poem. Okay, two stanzas. And today I'm going to do the remaining stanzas. Okay, yes. So actually that poem, uh, Macavity, the mystery cat, it's quite lengthy. But in our textbook, we have got the short version. Okay, so whatever we have in the textbook, our class 8 textbook, we are going to cover. Okay, yes. So I've got the two remaining stanzas. If you are interested in reading more about this poem, you can just Google it and then you will get the full poem by T.S. Eloy. Okay, yes. So before I continue with the, the today's stanzas, okay, let us try to recapitulate what we have done in the previous session. Okay, so, so the name of the poem is Macavity, the mystery cat. And Macavity is a name of a cat. Okay, that cat is mystery. Okay, why it's mystery? What do you mean by the word mystery? Mystery is something that you cannot understand. Okay, you cannot solve. So that's why it's a mystery. So why is that Macavity cat called mystery? Because uh, that cat used to create lots and lots of crime, bad things. But when the investigation team arrives, then uh, Macavity, the, the cat, okay, who has created this crime, was not there at the scene. So, what so Macavity was a mystery cat. It's very really popular, okay? Yes. Now, we don't know whether there actually uh, is a cat called Macavity or not. We don't know, okay? Yes. So, in the world, uh, which uh, when it comes to solving a crime and crimes and any other problems, uh, there are a few names that come in our mind, okay? So, one name is uh, the Scotland Yard, okay? The very renowned, very popular police, uh, which is famous for their, uh, which is a detective works, okay? Now, we, they are very renowned. But... Look at the cat, okay, even this, uh, what should I say, a very popular, very famous uh, police who were uh, famous for their solving problem, they could not uh, solve the problem. They could not catch the mystery cat, Macavity, okay. So Macavity was very clever, you see. So even these great police, they cannot solve. They cannot solve the crime. Why? Because when they come, Macavity is not there. He or she did not leave any evidence for the police to catch the culprit. So, uh, what should I say? Cat the wrongdoer. Okay, yes. And then we have got the flying squad, very famous. Okay, yes. Uh, they uh, which will come to the scene very fast. Okay, now even uh, they face problem solving the problem. You got it? So, such was the power, such was the uh, which is a character of that macavity. Okay, yes. And when we talk about the power of levitation, okay, yes, let us talk about the people who have got the power to fly. Okay, yes, rise above the ground. We think of uh, what should we say, fakirs. So, fakirs are uh, which is the Indian priests or yogas, yogis, who has got the power to fly. Okay, they, they have got the uh, power okay we ordinary people don't have we cannot fly okay the moment we jump we will fall down but some people have got this power even these people they were surprised okay they were surprised to see the power that macavity has macavity has the power to uh which they say fly in the uh, air levitation that cat has got the power of levitation so even the uh, what should I say? These furkies, they uh, look at the macavity in surprise. They stare. Okay. Yes. So such was the power, such was the character of that cat macavity. You got it. And macavity, uh, uh, he defy all the laws. We follow the rule, uh, which are rules of a country. But as far as the macavity is concerned, macavity used to defy, does not obey all the laws. Not only that, the Macavity used to break the law of gravity. So, scientific principle. So, even that, the Macavity used to break. So, Macavity was a mystery cat, obviously. You got it? Such was the power. But we don't know whether they actually is a cat or not. 
or if uh, T.S. Eliot is talking about somebody else. Okay, taking the example of a cat, but uh, he or he must be talking about some great criminal. Okay, who was very clever. He used to create lots and lots of crime, but disappears. Okay, when the investigation teams come. Okay, so that was the uh, what should I say? The power. That was the character of. Macavity. Okay, yes. So Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. There wasn't any cat uh, like Macavity. Okay, yes. So this is where we stop. Okay, yes. And in the two stanzas, we learned that uh, some of the lines are repeated. Okay, yes. Oh. Now let us uh, continue with the remaining uh, stanzas. Okay, yes. First of all, I'm going to read. Okay, so. In my previous session, I gave three reading. I told you whenever you come across poem, you have to at least read three times. Okay. Yes. Now today, uh, just because of the time, I'm going to read once. Okay. Yes. And if you get time, you can go through this uh, poem and you read as many times as you can. Okay. Yes. So let us continue. Yes. Macavity is a ginger cat. He is tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His blow is deeply lined with thought. His hat is highly domed. His coat is dusty from neglect. His whiskers are uncombed. He swear his hat from side to side with movements like a snake. And when you think he is half, half sleep, he is always wide awake. Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. For he is found in a feline sheep, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in a by street. You may see him in the square. But when the crime is discovered, then Macavity is not there. You got it. So with this, we have come to the end of the poem that we have in our textbook. I told you, actually, this poem is very lengthy. Okay. Yes. So let us uh, now in this part, uh, we are talking about the general feature. How does that cat Macavity looks? Okay. We are describing the physical character of that cat. Okay. Yes. So as you can see, Macavity. Now, if you notice, if you look at this poem, you will find, you will come across this apostrophe. You see so many apostrophe. In this stanza, you see so many. And in the previous two stanza, you have also come across all these things. Now, we call it apostrophe. This is apostrophe. So, Macavities means Macavity is. This is just the contraction. Just like we have mm, uh, he didn't. Oh, so, he didn't means din is the contraction short form of the actual one is did not i haven't haven't is the contraction okay what is the full form i have not likewise macavity is okay so i is this is the contraction okay yes likewise he's means he is that is the contraction of he is so he is always did you get that idea okay yes you will have you will see extensive use of this contraction in the point okay yes so we are talking about the physical appearance description physical description of macavity so macavity is a ginger cat so ginger cat means uh, ginger is a brown in color so ginger cat means a brownish color okay the macavity is brown okay is the color of macavity is not black not white but brown he is tall and he is thin you would know him if you saw him for his eyes are sunken in we have got sometimes uh, eyes coming out but as far as the macavity's eyes are concerned the his eyes are sunken it is yeah, what should I say? Inside. Okay, it is not coming out. Sunken, you can understand. Okay, yes. So, if you try to see which cat is Macavity, you will easily understand. Why? Because Macavity's cat's are, eyes are all sunken in. It is not coming out. Okay, yes. And he has got uh, eyebrow, isn't it? In the forehead, 
uh, that cat has got some lines okay line uh, with thoughts so whenever uh, uh, people if people are uh, which is fond of thinking all the time what you do we, you develop some kind of wrinkle on your forehead okay so McEvity has also had the wrinkle on his forehead his head is highly domed so dome means this shape okay yes so not very pointed it's just like a uh, this shape okay so his head is like this his coat is dusty from the, his coat actually a uh, macavity the cat does not have any coat so we are talking about his okay uh what should we say the furs okay it's dusty lots and lots of dust why because uh, he never takes care he neglects his physical so his uh, which we say fur are very dirty if you don't take care of if you neglect your uh, which are clothes then you look very dirty so just like that McEvity does not have the time to take care of uh, cleaning all his fur okay yes and his whiskers whiskers are the hair that we grow on your mouth or uh, on your which we see uh, the nose part okay so his whiskers are uncombed so you see the uh, macavity is quite lazy and uh, neglect uh, his physical appearance why because his clothes are dusty lots of dust not clean and his whiskers are not properly combed okay yes he sways his head from side to side so the macavity used to sway sway means move move his head from side to side okay yes and McEvity also used to make movement like a snake you know how does the snake move side by side okay so these are the movement these are the physical appearance so if you have to look for McEvity if you keep all this thing in mind you can easily find out uh, what you say which cat is McEvity you got it now these are the physical description not only that and when you think he is half slave, okay, yes, sometimes it's difficult to see whether the animals are sleeping or not. Okay, likewise, if you think, oh, McEvity is half slave, no, don't ever make that mistake. Why? Because he is always wide awake. Although it looks McEvity was in half slave or sleeping, but actually he was not sleeping. He is totally wide awake. Okay, yes, everything. Macavity, Macavity, there is no one like Macavity. Yes, there isn't. Have you ever seen a cat like Macavity who has got all this power, who uh, used to baffle, who used to uh, which fool one of the most famous police and flying squad? Okay, yes, even the Fuckies. No, we haven't seen. Okay, so that's why there isn't anyone like McEvity. McEvity is very special. Okay. They may be a person who used to uh, create lots and lots of crime. Okay. Yes. Uh, we have got so many people in this world. Some people are very, what should I say, clever. They outdo the police. Okay. They, they become smarter than the police. They become smarter than people who used to come and investigate a crime. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, what should we say? So, these people are just like my cavity. Okay. And then uh, we have seen so many exaggerations. Okay. Yes. In actual thing, we don't have any animal like this, cat like this. Okay. Who do so many, uh, uh, what should we say, character of a, a human being. Okay. We don't have. Okay. So, the poet has used so many exaggerations, which is also a literary term literary device used by the point okay yes so let us go through these two okay yes uh macavity macavity there is no one like macavity for he is fan in feline shape so feline means all the cat uh, family we have got tiger leopard okay yes now all these uh, come under feline shape means cat family so macavity is a devil Okay, it's not just an animal, it's a devil, create lots and lots of problems. So, for he is a devil in which shape? Feline shape. So, devil used to come in different form. Now, here, Macavity come uh, is a devil in disguise. Okay, yes. In which shape? In cat family shape. Okay, yes. And not only that, Macavity is a monster of depravity. So, depravity means wickedness, bad character. So he's a monster okay, of 
uh, wickedness, very wicked. Okay, create lots and lots of problem. Break the, which we say, rules. Okay, yes. Create lots and lots of problem for the, uh, which we say, flying squad. And uh, which we say, the Scotland Yard police. Okay, yes. You may meet him in a by street. Okay, yes. You may see him in the by street. So the main street and other street, smaller street. Okay, street which is not that much clear. Okay, we have got broad street, the main street. And we are talking with the by street. You will meet him in the by street. You may also see in the square, 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 you know, the main market square. You may see, okay, yes. But, but you may see, okay, yes, when the crime is not there. But when the crime is there, when a crime is discovered, and if you look for macavity, macavity is not there. So you see, it's very clever. Macavity used to create lots and lots of problems. When the policemen and the flying squad, all these people come to investigate, uh, and they, when they reach the crime scene, uh, and then when they look for the main uh, wrongdoer, macavity was not there. So that's why McCavity is a mystery cat. So, uh, do you have any person, do you know any person just like a McCavity who used to create lots and lots of problems, who used to break so many things, but when in investigation team come, then uh, that person is not there. Okay, yes. So that is the poem, McCavity, the mystery cat. And who has written this poem? Okay, this poem is written by T. S. Eloyd. Okay, yes. So in this poem, you have come across so many contractions. I told you he is, he is, Macavity is. Okay, yes, Macavity is. Now these are the contraction, and you see lots and lots of exaggeration. What are some of the exaggeration? Something that is beyond reality. For example, the power of levitation. Okay, the power of levitation. Okay, yes, any other, you know, Macavity used to break the law of gravity. Okay, yes. And uh, Macavity, uh, which we say, uh, what else? There are so many, uh, which are exaggeration. Okay, yes. So these are the things that uh, you have to keep in mind. Okay, and what is the color of Macavity, that cat? It's ginger. Okay, yes, ginger means brown. Okay, instead of brown, you can also use the word ginger. So actually, ginger is, uh, which is the herbal. Okay, yes, uh, the thing that we used in our food. Okay, uh, to give taste. Okay, so ginger means also a brown. Okay, yes. And uh, now let us talk about the literary device, rhyming. I've also given you... Uh, which is a pointed out all the rhyming words in the previous uh, two stanza. Okay, now here let us try to see. Okay, this is thin. Now actually this uh, stanza, it's, this one line is very lengthy. Okay, yes. So actually all these things come together because of the space I had to write it here. Okay, so these two are different lines. So we have got thin, we have got in. Thin, in. Okay, rhyming. We have got domed, okay. We have got uncombed, you see. So this is a rhyming, okay. We have got snake, snake. We have got awake, snake, awake, okay. Yes, we have got macavity, macavity. We have got depravity. So you see, rhyming word, okay. Yes. We have got square, so I told you this one comes here, okay, yes. You may see him in the square, square, there, okay, so Rami. Now these are the Rami words, did you understand? Okay, yes. So uh, with this we have come to the end of uh, the poem, okay, yes. So as a homework, as an assignment, if you have got textbook, you can go through all the exercises uh, uh, regarding this poem. And if you don't have any virtual textbook, I want you to do some kind of writing. So what you do, you just try to write the summary. Whatever you have learned about this poem and Macavity, uh, the mystery cat, I just want you to write a small passage. You write the summary. Okay, whatever you understand. There's no need for you to worry. Okay, uh, whatever you have understood from my uh, two tutorial, okay, video lesson, I just want you to write. 
and uh, try to uh, what you say uh, pick out some words okay i've also given you some words there okay in the previous lesson i want you to uh, take out some of the words okay in this and you just write the uh, meaning okay yes and don't forget to give it a beautiful reading okay yes it's a very short poem in our textbook so you just practice reading okay yes and if you get some uh, uh, the textbook and if you get some exercises i want you to uh, do this there's no problem in doing if you don't find any exercises i want you to write a short summary and pick out some of the words okay yes some of the words and try to write the meaning and you can also create a uh, what you see uh, own sentence by using these new words did you understand okay so today i'm going to stop here uh, so i see you in the next class till then take care bye bye